All right. Whoa. Yeah. Ah. Bulbasaur. Ah. All done polishing. And this last one is for you. Ash would be proud of how great it looks. Bulbasaur. Professor Oak certainly takes care of a lot of trainers' Pokemon. Each of these Pokeballs holds a resting Pokemon. Professor Oak asked me to clean them up since Ash's muck got the place a little dirty. Muck. It's okay. Now they're all clean. But I can't say the same about the rest of this place. I do not know where to even begin. Sorry. Maybe Ada can help me out. She's all about organization. And style. Oh, hey Ada. Hey Tracy, what's up? Oh, you know, helping out Professor Oak. I just got finished polishing all of these. Wow, you did all those? Yeah, and now I have to put them away. But there's so many, and I want to make the rows even. I see. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, except each trainer has a different number of Pokeballs here, and I'm not sure how to line them up. Sounds like you need to figure out factors. Factors? Yeah. Let me show you. How many Pokeballs does one of the trainers have? Well, this girl's got twelve. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And twelve is made up of other numbers that can be multiplied together to equal twelve. And those other numbers are called factors. It's like breaking a number apart. So think about the multiplication tables. What numbers can you multiply together to get twelve? Those are factors. Oh, you mean factors are like two times six? Yep, two and six are factors of twelve. What other numbers can you multiply to get twelve? Four times three. Yes, four and three are also factors of twelve. What about one and twelve? All numbers can be multiplied by one to make that exact number. So you're right, but we normally ignore one and the number itself as useful factors. Gotcha. So they're factors, but probably not good to use for organizing into just one row of twelve. Exactly, Tracy. So what about a number like eleven? Its only factors are one and eleven. Good point. Any factor greater than one is either a prime or composite number. A counting number greater than one whose only factors are one in itself is called a prime number, like eleven. Because the only numbers you can multiply to get eleven are eleven and one. Oh, so like three or seven are prime numbers. Yeah, you got it. How many factors can a number have? Well, it can have as many as it can have. Like the number twenty has a bunch of factors. Two, four, five, and ten. Right. And any number with more than two factors is called a composite number, like twenty. Or thirty, or forty, or fifty. You've got composite numbers down. Oh, cool! Well, now I need to composite these pokeballs. Baba. Mook. Yeah, and if you find common factors, you'll be able to line them up on the shelf just fine. Yeah, you're right. But first things first, you've got to practice. Good point. Let's try factoring some things. Great idea. Will you help me? Awesome. So over here there are twenty-one pencils. How could we divide them evenly? What are the factors of twenty-one? Click on them. Yeah, you got it. Seven times three is twenty-one. Now sort the numbers into prime and composite buckets. Drag and drop each number to the correct bucket. Prime number or composite number. Right. A prime number is a counting number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. Right. A prime number is a counting number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. Okay, so I have twenty-four oranges here. Can you click on the factors of twenty-four? Exo. 
excelente. Twelve times two is twenty-four, eight times three is twenty-four, and four times six is twenty-four. They are all factors of twenty-four. Now, sort the numbers into prime and composite buckets. Drag and drop each number to the correct bucket, prime number or composite number. You got it! A composite number is a number with more than two factors. Right! A prime number is a counting number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. You got it! A composite number is a number with more than two factors. Right! A prime number is a counting number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. You got it! A composite number is a number with more than two factors. You got it! A composite number is a number with more than two factors. All right, now I'm looking at 28 berries. Click on the factors of 28. Yep, both 7 times 4 and 14 times 2 are factors of 28. Now, sort the numbers into prime and composite buckets. Drag and drop each number to the correct bucket, prime number or composite number. Right! A prime number is a counting number greater than 1 whose only factors are 1 and itself. You got it! A composite number is a number with more than two factors. You got it! A composite number is a number with more than two factors. Right! A prime number is a counting number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. Now I have 27 blue poke blocks. Click on the factors of 27. Great work! Now, sort the numbers into prime and composite buckets. Drag and drop each number to the correct bucket, prime number or composite number. You got it! A composite number is a number with more than two factors. Right! A prime number is a counting number greater than one whose only factors are one and itself. Figuring out factors definitely helps even things out. Thanks! No problemo! I guess we better get back to organizing. Well, you've got your work cut out for you. Good luck, Tracy. Bye, Ada. Adios, Tracy. All right, let's stock these Pokeballs. I'm definitely going to need your help shelving them. All right, this trainer has 15 Pokeballs here. What are the factors of 15? Nice work. Okay, now I want to put them in rows of five. Five times what factor will equal 15? How many rows of five will 15 Pokeballs make? Oh, yeah! Okay, now I have a group of 24 Pokeballs. What are all the factors of 24? Nice 
Nice work. You know what? I'm going to make rows of four. Four times what factor will equal 24? How many rows of four will 24 Pokeballs make? Oh, yeah! This trainer has 12 Pokeballs. What are the factors of 12? Oh, yeah! Okay, now I want to put them in rows of three. Three times what factor will equal 12? How many rows of three will 12 Pokeballs make? Nice work! All right, this trainer has 18 Pokeballs here. What are the factors of 18? Nice work! Okay, now I want to put them in rows of 3. 3 times what factor equals 18? How many rows of 3 will 18 Pokeballs make? Nice work! So in this group I have 30 Pokeballs. What are the factors of 30? Oh, yeah! Okay, now I want to put them in rows of 3. 3 times what factor will equal 30? How many rows of 3 will 30 Pokeballs make? Nice work! Oh yeah! Looking good if I do say so myself. Every Pokeball in its proper place on the shelf. Thanks to you and Factors, we did it. Mmm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I should have factored in my clumsiness. <laughs> Bulbasaur! Check your math and try again. Close, but not quite it. Check your math and try again. Remember, a composite number is a number with more than two factors. Remember, 
A prime number is a counting number greater than 1 whose only factors are 1 and itself. Keep looking. Keep looking. <laughs>